Canada to help transform the church. They showed some things too, but it's Canadian. It's actually filmed in Toronto, which is like two hours away. Right. Anyways, I was watching this one episode, and this dude comes in. Uh, he's a delivery guy. So be it, right? You gotta do what you gotta do. We'll fucking, we'll work with you to do what we have to do. So we did. About six weeks later, my dad tells me, hey man, I'm being fucking made up by something that night. What do you mean? What are you talking about, dad? And then they were in the bedroom, fucking lift up the mattress. Yes, sir. There they were. No shit. So now, fucking, my dad's in the hospital. Fucking sleeping. I wake up. My left ear is on fire. I can't pick it up. Why is it on fire? This motherfucker hurts. Take a Q-tip, dig in there, and I pull out one of the little bastards. And then so my mom was like, let me see your ear. She goes, oh my god, Josh, the inside of your ear is fucking blood red. I'm like, man, fuck it, it is what it is. So now I'm going to go bed. Well, my stupid ass, I used to, when I had the bed bugs, I used to leave my controllers and headphones beside me on my bucket on the couch, not thinking. Well, they can smell skin particles and shit inside my headphones, right? Oh, yeah. You put them on. That's right, and all my bucket oils and shit leave yeah. in the fucking six years of me using these motherfuckers. Well, I put them on one day, and all of a sudden, my ear starts getting sore and bleeding. Uh huh. Well, there's something moving. Oh my god, I don't know. Turn my ears out. Sure enough, I start getting up the fucking tires and fucking tears and fucking run around inside the cup of fucking life. Oh, you little bastards! Go to mom and dad, get my head set up right outside. 
things and ears and shit. Now my ears are all fucking itchy. Oh, my bad, dude. <laughs> oh, fuck. I feel bad. I started my it, bad. bro. I that started my, it. That was my fault. My bad. Oops. All because of that fucking show that I was watching. <laughs> right? Yeah, that's that's fucking unique. A roach. Wow. Yeah. In dude's ear. <sighs> yeah. Uh, I was like, fuck, man. I did. I was watching a, a show... Fuck, what was it? It was a show just like that. It was here in the United States. Dude fucking went camping for like a week and came back. Both ears, not one. Both ears had fucking ticks in them. Yep. And he couldn't figure out why he was starting to lose hearing. He fucking would uh, clean out or go take a shower and then fucking blood would come out and he couldn't figure it out. And he, the stupid ass, this is two weeks after he went fucking to the god camping. And then two weeks later, you decide, oh, you know what? I need to go get my shit checked. What the fuck? As soon as I notice, I'm losing hair and I'm going to go check. I used to watch a show called Monsters Inside Me. Yep. Yep. Oh, I remember that with show. Dan Riskin from fucking uh, Discovery. Yep. Ugh. You just oh, gave my dude. body the whole chills, bro. Some of the 
fucking shit that they mm-hmm. had on that show, I was like, man, this is why I don't go to other fucking countries, okay? Straight up, this yep. is why. You go to sleep, you have some goddamn fucking worm that you don't even know is there, burrow into your goddamn fucking head. Yep. No, I'm good, thanks. <laughs> Straight up, I'm good. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, that's good. Like, I was watching that one time, and a lady went... Oy, my I think God. she fucking went on vacation to Africa or some shit. And fucking, she was uh, eating some delicacy that she was eating way too much of. She came back in the States, she had a fucking worm in her stomach that was like, yep. really strong or some shit. Tape worm. Ooh, creepy worm. There was a dude that got one from eating corn that wasn't fully cooked. And the tape worm started growing inside of him. Some dude had one crawling with some type of parasite worm thing crawling under his skin. So, yeah, some fucking exotic country that he was at. Like, it's just, it's, you get some weird, freaky shit when you travel around the fucking world, man. I would, I would love to travel the world. I'm too afraid to travel the world, man. There's shit out there that wants to fucking kill me. Like, I'm kind of glad I live in a cold weather climate. There's not as much shit out here that wants to fucking kill me. Exactly. And if it does, I can see the bitch coming. Because yeah. it's huge. Yep. <laughs> He's got big ass antlers and it's called it, moose. <laughs> or a bear. Or a bear. Which is yeah. even bigger. I can see them bitches coming, thanks. Yeah. I, I, I got micro little spiders and <laughs> snakes and, 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 and I don't gotta worry about that shit over here. <laughs> Okay, certain spiders can still do like we have brown ones. Yeah. Shit. Oh but yeah. They're falling in all. Usually, we don't have as many poisonous things here in Ontario that are trying to kill us as we do in, say, like Australia. Right. Oh yeah. Don't go Australia. You go there, man. Every single one of the goddamn creatures over there is trying to fuck kill you. They're all fuck poisonous. In some shape or form or way, like fuck. Fucking spiders almost as big as your head. There are spiders bigger than your fucking head <laughs> over there. <laughs> That's wild. I, I used to have buddies that lived in fucking Australia when I was uh, part of my um, Battlefield clan for the computer. Oh, when I was okay. Playing yeah. Battlefield 4 on the computer, and I was part of the Battlefield clan. Um, half of my guys were, well, three quarters of the guys were German from living in Germany, playing in German, in Germany, so, like, talking in German, so I was picking up a little bit of German here and there, and the clan leader was an Australian guy, and there was, like, five or six Australians, and then all the rest were fucking Germans, and then me, the one Canadian. (laughs) Damn it. We were a fucking ragtag clan, let me tell you, but man, we could kick some ass, boy. (laughs) But yeah, the couple of guys from Australia, they would send me fucking pictures. They'd send me pictures of bearded dragons. And the one day I got a picture at 3 o'clock in the morning. Look what just came through my window. And it's this, like, fucking gecko thing that just started crawling through his window at, like, 3 o'clock in the morning. I was like, what the fuck, man? I want little geckos and shit crawling through my fucking window at 3 o'clock in the morning to come see me. Right. I'd have little crickets around here, buddy. Well, cricket. <laughs> I love bearded. Well, they knew I had a beardy too, right? So right. I kept asking them, send me a fucking beardy. Ship me a beardy. I wanted a beardy for my fucking... I want a friend for my beardy. <laughs> I don't want to pay for it, but ship me one. If you ship me one, I'll send you money for it. So I'm like, oh, man. I don't know if I can ship that over the border. No, you cannot ship a bearded no. dragon over the border like that. If I well, want one, no. I got to go to either yep. a breeder or a pet store to get one. I tried it. I tried yeah, fucking no, ordering they, one they from there. They frown said, nope. upon shit oh, like no, that. Oh, no, they told That's me no. That's right. Yeah, no, that, as I no. said, they frown upon Ooh, shit like that. I was that. like, nope, ain't happening, nope. I'm like, come nope, on, I just nope, want nope. one. It takes so much paperwork to try and get one of them motherfuckers across the fucking border. That's why you're better off to just go to a fucking just theater or pet store and it. just pay the 30 bucks and fucking get one. Get yep. it as a baby and watch a motherfucker grow up. I rescued a mind from something left behind my fucking Damn. Yeah. It sucked. Like, I gave me a proper lighting. Get proper fucking nutrition. So, when I got them, I got them all the proper lights and shit. 
shit that he needed, and I started giving him health to fucking food for him like I was buying a fucking meal for him. Them little fuckers. Till he started getting older and couldn't grab them the same, and they started fucking getting him before they he could get them. Right. Then I made sure they were just little, little pinkies instead of the fuzzies, because the fuzzies were a little quicker and could get to him before he could get to them. So if he right. didn't get them right on the fucking head, they would actually grab a hold of him, and the one could blood one day. Actually ripped his fucking layer of skin right off. Oh, like, poor guy. Yeah. I was like, oh, dude, okay, no more fuzzies for you. It's okay. You're getting too old for the fucking fuzzies now. Yeah. But he lived to be like 11 or 12 years old for fuck's sakes, and I had him for Damn. five, six, I guess it was six or seven years. The so has started. He had a good life. Oh, yeah. That's like my chameleons. There was this lady, or we went to a pet store, uh, the reptile one. I used to talk to the dude all the time and shit. I did not know that he was having issues with him. The baby's getting out of the cage because he was put out front to let them get Oh, they're scrawny little bastards, man. Well, I was standing by the cage. <laughs> and and I, I, I swear on my skin, that I didn't steal shit. I'm not a thief. When I got halfway home, I'm like, what the fuck is crawling on me? What the fuck is going on here? It's a gecko that jumped on you. It was a chameleon. There's two mm -hmm. I didn't okay, know it. Or a chameleon that crawled up your leg. Yep. I fucking freaked out, bro. I fucking yep. didn't know what to do. I call him. I go, hey, bro, I don't know what the hell happened, Pat. And he goes, why are you freaking out? I'm like, dude, two of your fucking chameleons fucking crawled on me or something, and I got them in my, at my house. I, I'm bringing them back. And he was like, Josh, calm down. And I'm like, no, fuck that, dude. That's stealing. And he goes, how is that stealing? Did you pocket them? I go, no, I didn't know they were here yeah. until I got halfway did you, home. Did and you I got, take it and put it in your pocket yourself? Hell no. <laughs> Fuck, that's well, what then you asking. didn't steal it. <laughs> so I come, I, so I turn around immediately, like, because he kind of freaked me out a little more, right? A little motherfucker's AWOL. They charge him for being AWOL. <laughs> so I fucking get back to the pet store with both of them, or the shop, whatever you want to call it, right? And he was like, they're yours. I'm like, no, no, I don't have the money. That's stealing. Because I was little, right? I was young. Yeah. And he goes, no, no, I'm giving them to you. No, no, that's stealing. <laughs> he had to call Not my mom. I'm giving <laughs> to you. He had to call my mom. And my mom had to come down to the shop and explain to me what he's telling her. And I'm like, mom, that's stealing. She goes, Josh, I'm not giving them to you because you're being so honest. That was the part that I wasn't catching up because yeah, I was just like, right. in my eyes, I was stealing, and I'm like, and I'm like, no, you're not stealing, you're stealing because you're being so stealing. I'm like, give him back, give him back. <laughs> so I kept them until I was 23 years old, and I was going to get ready to move out to the window. There was no way I was going to And I like to let them at a certain temperature and have, have certain nutrients yeah. and have, oh man, that's why yeah. I don't get it. Like, I would love to get the awesome. fucking colors, they're yeah. awesome. Yeah. 
Oh it's... man, it's the first time I saw a chameleon, I fell in love with the motherfuckers. And then I saw these um, trihorn chame chameleons. Yeah, the little fans. triceratop motherfuckers. Yep. Oh, I wanted one of them for my god, I want one so bad. Looks like a little one my trike. Oh, I want one. Yeah. As soon as I saw a trike, man, I was like, oh my god, I want a fucking trike. Well, when I went back I wanted to Pat, my horn so bad. And told him, I said, look, bro, we're getting ready to move into a one bedroom and all this other shit. He pulls out this rhino horn. He was so beautiful. And he was so friendly, too. Real friendly. He put him on my shoulder and he just sat there and was like licking my neck. And I'm like, all right, little shit. I know that fucking tongue is sticky. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> they sure are. And so we're chilling and. So Pat took a fucking pair of tongs and grabbed a fucking cricket. And I'm like, don't you do it. And he put it kind of close to me and that motherfucker hit that damn cricket. And I'm like, all right, little shit, don't you. And then he, he was pulling his tongue in and he slapped me on the side of the face and the fucking cricket and his tongue stuck in my neck. I'm like, ah. Because they got like little suction cups and they're fucking hard to break loose. Yep. I'm just like, my, Ow. I used to know a breeder and he bred uh, a couple of different types of bearded dragons. And he bred a couple of different types of chameleons. And the one was the trike chameleons that he was breeding. Well, he walks up to me when I was at his place one day. He goes, you want to see something really cool? I was like, yeah, sure, man. I like cool shit that these lizards do. He goes, watch this. And he stands, I don't know, it was a good three, four feet away from this fucking chameleon. Right. Oh, yeah, this ain't going to work with this controller, damn. And uh, he holds the fucking cricket up, and he moves his hand a little bit so the chameleon can see his hand. And as soon as the chameleon saw the cricket in his hand, he turned over, and he looked at him, and he shoots out this fucking tongue, and I was like, what the fuck? How the... Wait a minute. Where do you fit the rest of that fucking tongue in you, boy? That came out, like, five times longer than you are. What the fuck? Yep. He goes, do you want to try that? I was like, you're fucking right, I do. He goes, grab a cricket between your fingers. I fucking held it up. I shook my hand a little bit, and it instant snap, snap right yep. on, and... He, he's measuring and he shoots out and what's a pop? Oh, that's fucking awesome, man. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, he'll do it with mealworms, too. I was like, really? Yeah. That's fucking slick. And then they eat, they'll fucking do that with. And if there is that occasionally, like, if they're close enough, they'll just eat it. But... If it's far enough, yeah, hey, it'll fucking shoot that tongue out there and grab on. That was that was amazing to see this fucking tongue come out of this fucking like eight inch fucking yep. lizard, four fucking feet, <laughs> five fucking yep. bam! Whoa, wait a minute. Okay, I knew you guys had like this retractable shooting tongue thing, but like I didn't know it would shoot that fucking far, yep, man. Sure like holy, fuck will. that's some fucking creepy shit right there, bro. Their tongue will fucking <laughs> extend. I think it's two to. three three times their body length. I, I can't remember. Something like that, so yeah. Long. It, it's, it's a distance. It's yep. fucking amazing. <laughs> Little ass body, but that fucking tongue is like... Out there. <laughs> yep. And then, well, mine, he... He knew how to piss me off, right? Like, he'd be sitting on, on my TV. I'll walk by and he'd hit me right in fucking between the eyes with his tongue. You little yeah. bastard! I'm gonna fucking tear that goddamn tongue out your mouth. But then that's when I knew I was like, all right, he's getting hungry. Yeah, exactly. He's like, hey, dad, fuck you! I'm hungry. Feed me. Feed me, motherfucker. <laughs> so I'd either run to the store, or go get him crickets and some mealworms, and then put him in his cage, and then put him in the cage, and he'd be all right. And then when he was full, he'd sit at the fucking door like. Uh, I don't want to be in this trap. Um, do you mind opening the door? Well, I'd open the door and just let him go. Snuggles used to walk up and start rubbing spikes, uh, spikes on the side of his head uh -huh. and his neck. She would, and he would just sit there and give me this look of, 
dude, she's doing it again. <laughs> Would you stop this big fuzzy thing from fucking using me as a scratching post? <laughs> yeah, she no, just you just sit there, rub her fucking head and ears right against him, and he just turn his eyes and look at me like, um, dude. What the fuck is this about? She doing it. What the <laughs> fuck? Are you gonna stop this? Is she gonna eat me? Like, what the fuck's no going on shit, here? Right? Like, what's really going on? Am I heard the first couple of what? times he he didn't know <clears throat> what the fuck was happening. Well, I imagine he just sees her walk up and he's like, uh, "Okay, this thing's way bigger than I am." And all of a sudden, she starts sniffing him, and then next thing you know, she fucking rubbing against his spikes. <laughs> and I'm like, "Oh shit." All right. Well, apparently she has some hairs that she wants loosened up, and she's gonna use your spikes to do it with. And the look right. on his face as she's doing it, she looks at him and looks at me like, "Dude, what the fuck is this thing doing to me?" Yeah, no shit. Why is this thing rubbing on me? I don't like it. Every time I'd pull him out, that's where she'd walk up to him and start rubbing on his fucking spikes. It's like, oh my god, what are you doing to the poor thing, man? Leave him alone, Snuggles. Well, that's like my mom's Pomeranian. When the... Oh, shit. The iguana would come downstairs, her ass would go hide. She didn't like oh, him yeah. very well. It, well, she was being a bitch to him one day, and fucking she would back up to him and try to put her natch in his face. Or try to... And she would try to fucking donkey kick him. Well, she didn't realize that his fucking tail could move. He whapped her ass one time, and that dog went to screaming for, I don't know, a few minutes. <laughs> I thought, at first I thought he broke her leg. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, oh, fuck. No, he just gave her a warning shot. Like, leave me the fuck alone, woman. I'm not your fucking scratch post. Yep. I, ain't, I don't want your natch in my face. I can't help you. <laughs> right. I ain't got what you want. Get out of here. I'll eat you. Fuck. You food to me. Yeah, especially when he was only four foot long. He was a big boy. Motherfucker would eat a whole watermelon to himself. Yeah. I'm like, God damn, this is getting expensive. <laughs> I'm not sure if I like this game or not. I'd probably be better with a steering wheel. I'm starting to think the same thing, see? Oh, no, cool. I'm playing a different game. Oh, I'm already? playing Corsetta, Orsetta, Carsetta. Carsetta. I didn't lose control. I fucking saved it. Fuck you. Let me see. Stupid thing. Um, oh, my stomach. Assetta Corsa. Oh, okay. A-S-S-E-T-T-O Corsa. Yeah, I see That's, that now. I'm, I'm not sure if I like this or not. I mean, this is cool, I just gotta be, get the hang of it. But I'm used to playing Gran Turismo where I can actually use my steering my controller with the steering wheel, where this one I have to fucking actually use controller to steer. Right. And I'm not used to this analog steering on a fucking race game anymore, so you know, I'm like, times are shit! <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like that. 